Guardians of the Galaxy is a fantastic use of Marvel lore, and in many cases, the best adaptation ever conceived of the team. Pulling inspiration from multiple comic lines and the films, the game tells a story that will have you in fits of laughter one moment and a flood of tears the next. While the gameplay is a little rough around the edges, it's implemented well enough that its unique features outshine other mundane elements. Both fans of these characters and newcomers alike are bound to love this game. After a galactic war that embroiled hundreds of planets, the Guardians of the Galaxy are a newly formed team of misfits dead set on righting the wrongs of their pasts and making a better name for themselves. Things begin to go wrong from the jump, and the story spins out from there, involving the Space Police Nova Corps, a cult known as the Church of Universal Truth, and a myriad of other characters that will genuinely delight and surprise players. The story and writing of Guardians is its strongest element, and it is an outstanding one. The meaty campaign allows players to get invested in the protagonists, as well as characters close to them, in a way that the movies simply haven't been able to do. Their motivations, their fears, their interpersonal relationships are all expertly explored. These characters in this world are also distinctly different from any iterations fans will have experienced before, in ways that will surprise players and have them wanting to delve deeper in this universe's lore. While the game's story is mostly linear with definitive moments, it is also littered with choices that players can make as Star-Lord that feel important regardless. These choices manifest themselves in different ways, such as changing up the progression of a level, certain decisions characters make along the way, and also simple comedic moments that are nonetheless wonderful in their own right, that flesh out and add texture to the world. The script is a masterclass in video game writing. Players will be giggling along the way, with multiple laugh-out-loud moments littered throughout. It's also just as effective in its emotional beats, with the drama of these characters never hitting as well as it does in this game, thanks to how expertly their traits and stories are built up and told. You will very quickly forget about the film iterations of these characters and be enraptured by the hijinks of these ones. I was also impressed with how much dialogue there simply is in the game, with the teammates never taking a break from talking. Surprisingly, there's very little repetition, with only a handful of lines during gameplay ever uttered more than once. It really helps make the story and world feel organic. Gameplay in Gardens of the Galaxy is a mixed bag at worst and a delight at best. Players take control of Star-Lord, who can use both his blasters and melee attacks to take down a wide range of enemies. On top of that, he can also command the other four team members, each of which have unique abilities that are best implemented in specific scenarios. Star-Lord also has his own abilities and other gameplay surprises that will manifest over the course of the game. If that sounds kinda messy, you'd be right. Unlike Mass Effect, where battles take place over a longer range, and Commander Shepard is only responsible for the actions of two other characters, Guardian's battles are upfront and frenetic, not lending itself particularly well to an experience that requires strategy. I never got used to the game's controls fully, often finding myself clicking the wrong button. Especially as the game continues to pour on new abilities and gameplay elements as it progresses, even up until the very end, getting the combat and tactics to flow the way you want. There's also a huddle up gameplay mechanic that has Star-Lord give a pep talk to the team, with players able to choose how to hype up their teammates based on their comments on the tide of battle. Some of these are just completely nonsensical and are the worst aspects of the game's writing. Depending on whether the player chooses the correct dialogue options dictates whether they are simply buffed or whether the whole team gets a boost. Personally, I just wish this mechanic happened automatically instead of pausing the gameplay, allowing it to kick right into whatever 80s music track Star-Lord decides to use to hype up the team. It's a minor criticism, but instead of being excited when I was able to activate a huddle up, I was kind of like, meh. That being said, the game the majority of the time is spent exploring and enjoying the non-stop banter of the teammates, who can also be asked in specific scenarios to interact with the environment to get to previously inaccessible areas. There are just enough combat scenarios to make it a fun action game, but not too many that you feel inhibited from enjoying the best parts of it, which are the story and characters. The abilities of the Guardians are also interwoven by their personal plights, allowing the gameplay to bask in some of the story's glory. 
The difficulty, which players can adjust with very granular details, such as changing how slow the slow-mo is when barking orders to the other guardians, even poisoning the game entirely if they so choose, makes the messy gameplay as manageable as possible, without the development team having to significantly delay the game to rework and retool it. Hopefully we get an even better implemented system for the sequel. Guardians takes place across multiple different locations, whether it be familiar ones such as the mind head of a celestial nowhere, reimagined planets such as Lamentis, which was featured in the Disney Plus show Loki, or entirely new locales such as the Quarantine Zone. The scope of the galaxy feels grand and for the most part is fantastically rendered. The quality of developers Eidos Montreal's previous Deus Ex games brought across to this new title. That being said, I ran into a litany of bugs on Xbox Series X while playing, including characters that just zipped off the screen, visual elements not rendering properly, and even a couple of hard crashes. There will be a day one patch that I've been told will address specific issues I ran into, but not every problem I had was listed. Hopefully the version players get their hands on is a much more stable experience. I feel about Guardians of the Galaxy the way I felt about Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. An excellent story, one of the best told in that universe, with inconsistent gameplay that required polish and some nasty bugs at launch. That being said, I loved Jedi Fallen Order, warts and all, and I loved Guardians of the Galaxy. I can't wait to experience more stories with these characters and see what unique takes Eidos Montreal has up its sleeve for expanding this universe further. <laughs>